safe from good. Can I just say Stop something? Speaking over me, all right? Have some respect, okay? You want to continue this shit in here? The cups will go straight on and we'll wait down the back until we figure out who you are, okay? Well, that's none of your goddamn business. Now is it? Hey, boys and girls, it's Narnia here. I'm just arriving at Karaya Police Station in response to auditing Australia's arrest yesterday. What's that look like at me? someone for filming the car park. Do you know about it? Sorry? Chris White. Yeah, he arrested someone yesterday because I was filming the car park. Yeah, so what can I do for you today? I wouldn't know what to go with that. It's on it's on YouTube. Yeah, but you're not the person that's related to the incident. So am I gonna film the car park and am I gonna get arrested and arrested as well? Well you need to film the car park yeah. because I choose to. Do I have to have a reason? Because of what happened yesterday. So I'm, I'm going to come here, I'm coming here to prove a point that we can film a, a, a private car park, right? And I want to know why, why would you arrest someone for that? So you're still recording? Yeah, of course I'm still recording. Oh, we're not allowed to record inside the Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. It's a public place. Not inside the police station. You're not allowed to record inside our watch house. So for that reason, I need you, to know you, your name. You've got no authority to stop me from filming inside a police station. Are you refusing to give your name and address? For what? You're not allowed to record inside Says the police who? station. Says who? Says you. This is me. Legislation. What? Which legislation? Come on, mate. You're, so we've seen the videos, just, we get it, we know yeah. you think you know everything. Yeah, you've also got I do know everything. Okay, yeah. As well. yeah. So 
for that reason, I'm not giving you my name because I'm filming inside a police station. This is a private place when you have no. It's not a private place. Anything. You don't have any permission to be here. If you go to Broadmeadows Police... You're now breaching the peace as well. Are you going to give us your name and address? Am I breaching the peace? Because I've requested you to move on. Right? No, you didn't. You told me to stop filming. You're going to be arrested if you don't put down the phone. You're not allowed to record inside the police station. So, unless I leave now, I'm going to be arrested. I'm not going to give you another chance. Okay, I'm leaving. No, you've got to give me your name and address. So now I can't leave? You've got to give me your name and address. For what reason? I'm not going to ask again. For what reason? For filming. Name and address? Excuse me, sir. Sorry. Okay. The officer has explained to you. Yeah, he said it's illegal to film inside a police station. If you go to Broad Meadows, please. If you keep speaking over me, the cuffs will go on, all right? I'm trying to explain to you what's going on, okay? He's explained to you that you're not allowed to film in here, okay? Okay. So therefore, he has requested your name and address, okay? Now the issue is not. That's not the best, though. The issue becomes that he has requested your name and address, all right? If you refuse to do it, you get placed under arrest until we can ascertain your identity, yeah, okay? but that is the reason, the reason he's asking is not a lawful reason. He because is, it, is, he is, it is not an offence, it is not an offence to film inside a police station. He has asked you for a lawful reason. If you refuse, you will be placed under arrest. He's asked for a lawful reason. He has asked what lawful reason? 456AA, we can request Yeah, but no offence has been committed. No offence has been committed. If you, can, can, I I, can I say something? Okay, can I, can I just, continue, can I just say something? Can I just say something? Stop speaking over me, alright? Have some respect, okay? You want to continue this shit in here? The cuffs will go straight on and we'll wait down the back until we figure out who you are, okay? Now, explain what your name and address is okay. and you will be free to go. Otherwise, okay. the cuffs are going on, you get one chance at it. Can I just say something? Okay. If you name and address, you can. No, no, before I give, you, before I give those, that information, I want to say something, okay? <clears throat> if you go to Rooney Ponds Police Station or Broadmeadows Police Station, they've actually got signs saying that the foyer is a public place under section three. Yeah, it's a public place. It's not a scheduled public place. Yep. No, a scheduled yeah. public place is the cemetery. You choose to close this place, mate, it's a scheduled public place. Not... I've answered your question. Okay. All right? Name and address. Okay. So you want, you want my name and address because I'm filming inside the police station? I feel like the cuffs are going on, mate. I'll give you a moment.
As you can hear, I did not say a word to the arresting tyrants. An officer who I saw for the first time walked into the room and asked if I was okay, to which I responded positively. A few minutes later, he comes back and removes the handcuffs and also gives me a glass of tap water. You don't hear this, so the recording shuts off. The sergeant then comes to the room. He tells me that he was called into the station and asks me what's uh, going on. The torrent who had not said a word to me the whole time I was in the room answers the question by telling the sergeant that he had asked me for my name and address after I was arrested and that I had refused to provide those details. I immediately rose up and told the sergeant that the constable was lying to him and that we had not spoken a word to each other. The constable didn't respond after that. I then had a, a um, discussion with the sergeant about law um, he said that I was asked to leave for breaching the peace and that he knew the law better than me. I disagreed on both counts and asked him to charge me so that we could test his interpretation of the law in court. He declined to do so. I must say he was very polite during our conversation and uh, I afforded the same in return. He said that police just wanted my details and that if I gave them to him he would release me immediately. He wrote down my name and address and then said I was free to leave. So I thanked him for his professionalism and told him that his customers were tyrants and that I would definitely be back for them with my camera to film once again. A constable then walked towards me to escort me out. He asked me not to say anything until I got outside and a few moments later I realised why. As I was being let out, I saw auditing Victoria seated in handcuffs surrounded by a number of officers. I was surprised, as all this time I thought AV was outside waiting for me. So I turned to AV, I said something like, what the heck? We are definitely coming back here. And AV said something like, yep. And uh, I was then led back into the foyer. Uh, this definitely was a false arrest, unlocking um, imprisonment. So this incident will be banked. Um, you do have a three-year uh, period to launch civil proceedings, and I have no doubt there will be other tyrants, or there are other tyrants out there who will do the same. So once I've gathered a number of torts, the state will receive an <coughs> another lawsuit. I took two phones off me. A gimbal, a tablet. The sergeant was very good. I just said to him now, if these two constables approach me the way you have, I wouldn't be in this situation. And I told him I'm coming back next week with my camera and I'm going to film those fuckers again. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.